Hello everybody, welcome to the weekend, welcome to Saturday's Marvel Contest of Champions video. Now something that's very important is what's going to be happening over the next few months in game. This is why I've put together this very special little video which is 8 tips to remember for the summer. All of these are going to be incredibly relevant from today and will probably start being seen in the next few weeks and at least the month. And do reflect a lot of the dev diaries, links to all of the crucial ones and the information that I've drawn from this are in the description down below. And I strongly urge you to go and check it out to keep yourself informed with what is coming to the game. But without further ado, let's delve into these tips. The first tip is incursions and dark artifacts. Now as you know, going through incursions you gather dark artifacts. You can reach a limit of 55,000 that you can actually get and it's a case that this will be very important to hoard a good chunk of it. Because in the next 90 days, Kabam say we're going to be increasing the purchase limit for 5 star incursion crystals and adding 6 star shards as a purchase option in the incursion store. And if you go into the incursion store and especially with the way that some of the others are situated being 27,000 at a cost price, you can imagine this will be well over 30 approaching 40,000 dark artifacts when they're put into the game so save up. Next up is Act 6 progression now in particular Act 6.3 and 6.4 now I've waited off to at least November time when there's meant to be a big shift in the attack values and various other things. Do Act 6.100% and 6.200% at your own leisure and there'll be a further tip about 6.2. Now where the full broad changes will actually come in is yet to be seen. There is only one major change to 6.2 actually coming next month but apart from that you will have to wait towards the end of the year when a lot of these changes are put in place. At number 3 start saving up your 5 star shards for dual class crystals and identify needs in your roster. So, save up 5 star shards, that's very easily done, just in case over the next few weeks you will see this new crystal coming into place, which will be split between two different classes, more on that in a moment. But the main thing is identify weaknesses in your roster that you'd love to add more champions to. Is it a case you need sciences or you need mystic? Say you want a shot at Reed Richards, say you want a shot at Captain America Infinity War Edition and as well Doctor Doom, then that crystal may be the one that you go for. And as Caban state here, dual class basic hero crystals, 10,000 shard 5 star crystals for uncollected and Cavalier Summoners, one crystal with two classes, Mutant Skill, Science, Mystic, Cosmic and Tech. One crystal will appear for 24 hours, replaced by a second crystal uh, the day, then the third, then back to the first. So as you can see, it's on screen at the moment and it is meant to be released at the end of this month or the start of August, which will probably come in line with the update. So start saving those shards, people. Tip number four is start saving your rank up resources if you feel you're not going to have enough by the time of new champion changes and buffs are announced and put out to the community. And let's face it, if they actually get a six star Magneto right, I'll be doing the rank two on my six star version. And just today, knowing the key dates, as you know, September is when you'll see the Magneto changes, two overhauls to the Marvel Now version and the standard OG version. The build two, which focuses on Punisher 2099, is in October, and as well in November, it's Gambit and Falcon. Now, don't leave it too long for expiring resources, but as well, save something back just in case some of these champions are amazing when they're put in in the next couple of months. Next up, start saving your units and maybe a bit of money if you're really after some of those really cool older champions. And yeah, I do have a working theory that we will see Wolverine in the arena next week, next Thursday, and as well into featured Cavaliers on the same day. The same treatment I believe will be with an early access in September and as well with an arena towards the latter part of September plus featured cavaliers for that champion. That's my theory and I think if you want to save up some money and units for this, start now because this will be a good opportunity over the space of two months to pick up the stuff. Do bear in mind that I, there is other content that's coming out so you may want to spend your units on that or maybe a first run in Abyss of Legends or get some decent stuff with this. It's up to you. Next up and tip number 6 and it's Act 6.2.6, .6, the champion boss fight. Now this fight here will be nerfed as of the start of August and this is an important point and something to mention is that do not do this if you're unprepared to do it and as well if you're suffering it's probably best that you're not ready for this. Wait until Kabam nerf this. Yes, there could be a chance of picking up compensation. That is not confirmed, but this will be nerfed down, especially with the likes of no retreat being taken away, because 
That's a scuffy thing. A full breakdown on the champion change can be found here. So as you can see, damage taken from Nullify in the main event phase will be reduced from 10% to 2%. Block penetration for the champion will be reduced by 50%, which is very important. The dexterity requirement in his final phase will be reduced from 5 to 3. Very helpful. And removal of no retreat buff node. Again, incredibly important. Look out for this change coming next month, so the month of August. Tip number seven is all about preparation. Now, if you've done the Canadian difficulty or Cavalier difficulty from the side quest, it's not meant to be intended as the main difficulty that you experience from Cavalier, but it is a taster. And something I would recommend is diversify your roster and coverage for a lot of different nodes. This is something that's very important and has definitely been found this month. You can't just rely on the same champions like Quake, Corvus, Omega Red. You will need a whole plethora of champions to cover different nodes. If Distrack is anything to go by, if Buffed Up is, and so many other different tricky nodes, it's important to have a broad spectrum and coverage waiting for September. And as you can see, here's some key dates on screen at the moment with September bringing that Cavalier difficulty as was mentioned a moment ago. Herald difficulty is launched next month, but that's the thing that could be a good example of how it is building up for Cavalier difficulty and ranking up double immunity champions that also have buffs, maybe even champions that again are double immunity and as well have some power control aspects to them, not to mention different types of workings of abilities evade in their structure. You name it, high debuff champions, Champions, you've just got to have them available for all the difficulties that are coming out in the next couple of months. And the final tip is alliance based knowledge and participation. Something that is very important with new quests coming on Summer of Pain, not to mention we've got back issues 5 and so many other bits of content coming in. Make that decision now. Are you ready and are you prepared to be in an alliance whilst this is going on? And as well with the current matchmaking situation as it is, are you really in a position as well to say, look, am I happy in my alliance? Am I not? Am I ready for another season as it was? Am I going to have to move alliances? Those are the real key things as well. Do you want to sum her off? Have those key questions in your mind. That is the top tip. Am I prepared to do another season of Alliance Wars? And am I happy in my current alliance? Is it time for a change? There we go. That's been my top eight tips for players this summer. Do bear in mind me saying that alliance-based participation is something to look into. It is. A lot of players are saying that they're unhappy with where the matchmaking is. So therefore, you have to make a decision. Do I leave the alliance? or not. If Kabam don't look like they're going to address it, then you've got to make decisions for yourself. And unfortunately, that may mean to jump to another alliance or go, as, go alliance free for a time whilst you focus on other content in game. It's just how it is at the moment. You've got to make the best out of a bad situation and that may be what you might have to do. And I hope this video helped to put together some clarity and some information on some time frames to kind of wait for. There's some really key stuff I'm looking out for, like the Scarlet Witch 5 star edition. Like I said, I do have that theory that she'll be put in featured Cavaliers in September. The same thing with next week and Wolverine. Like I said, I could be wrong, but it just feels like that would be the case, especially with Kaban making it open for players to go for. They wouldn't just do early access and go, oh, you have a slight chance of getting those champions. There's got to be more to this than meets the eye. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out some recent content that's up here. Check out some other links to other stuff that I do down here. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.